I'm going to tell you something awesome and important. First, to start out with a quote by Ellie Pito, strategy is just a fancy word for coming up with a long-term plan and putting it into action. I'm Allison Phillips, Executive Director for Stanford Center for Innovation and Global Health and a proud graduate of the first Women Lift Health cohort. My leadership project was to create a strategic plan for Stanford Center for Innovation and Global Health. I joined Stanford as executive director of the center just a few months before the pandemic hit and just a few months before my Women Lift Health program started. It goes without saying that my leadership project has had twists and turns and significant delays due to unforeseen interruptions and chaos in my new home office, which is also my daughter's bedroom. This was due to the pandemic, but also due to an important awakening around decolonizing global health and the many health inequities that we have here in our own backyard. It's not just about Zimbabwe or India. Global is local and the strength of thoughtful partnership with partners working on the front lines, driving the agenda has never been more important. In many ways, there have been advantages in the delays in my leadership project. I originally set out to create a strategic plan, but I quickly realized that several important process points were necessary before drafting the plan. Drafting a plan is easy. I could crank that out in a weekend, but a top-down hierarchical document that doesn't incorporate an evolving field or perspectives that reflect my team and our multidisciplinary stakeholders at Stanford would be futile. It would just sit on the shelf. So the process that I designed started out with bringing my small but mighty team together to develop a shared vision, goals, and indicators of success across our center's education, communications and advocacy, and research portfolios. I approached this in a way that empowered the team to define and own their portfolios, and together we review progress, impact, and challenges on a quarterly basis. This might sound like basic program management, but it's inclusive leadership and it yields strategic focus to our day-to-day -day and provides a strong foundation for our longer-term plan. I then designed and executed a survey to the 180 faculty fellows that are all active in global health at Stanford. The objective of this survey was to gain an understanding of the different content areas that they all work in, hear what they value about our center and understand how our center can better support their work. I've since been meeting with many of these 180 faculty in one-to-one -one meetings to discuss a shared vision for global health at Stanford. It's really exciting. Global health issues can't be tackled with medicine alone. We need different disciplines like social sciences, policy, engineering, business, education. And Stanford is so unique that we can bring all of these disciplines together with intention and strategy. As part of the process the, for my leadership journey, my boss and I will also be meeting with the deans of other schools at Stanford to bring in these other disciplines and hear how they want to be part of our future. I'll also hold a strategy workshop with my team to further build on the annual visioning and planning process that we're executing now. And I'll be drawing on our core leadership team as main sources of feedback and input. And I also realized along the way that I needed some thought partnership. So I've talked with the other women lifters at academic global health centers about their strategic plans. I've talked with other colleagues at other universities to hear how they structure their global health vision and goals. And I realized I needed a little help. So I've hired an impact consultant who I now meet with once per week, just to touch base on the approach and progress. So I'll be done with this data gathering phase in a couple of months and I'll then draft a board level document, obtain input on that plan and then roll it out. I'm really, really excited for this. My hope is that this strategic plan will lead to new strategic opportunities and funding for our center to advance the fields of human and planetary health, leadership diversity in the 21st century and global health equity. During the Women Lift Health leadership journey, we did a lot to gain awareness of our own leadership styles. We took a lot of personality assessments and I learned that I'm a bridger and a conserver. As a bridger, I love to bring people together to get everyone on the same page and encourage and foster new partnerships. And as a conserver, I really thrive in structure. I love to design new programs around structure, intentionality and goals. And so I'm doing both in this project and really capitalizing on those characteristics. The Women Lift Health Leadership Journey has been such an incredible experience, especially during such a crazy year. 
Thank you for being with me on this journey, for supporting my growth, and to so many of you for creating opportunities and charting a path for women and global health.